Um, so welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Simon Gallagher. This is our uh, ninth uh, UK-wide uh, VMUG event. This is our second here at the Space Center, so um, hopefully we debugged most of the problems last time around, but um, we'll see how we get on. So, um, you know, fantastic venue, and um, we'll have a good day. Just by way of introduction, um, you know, there are four of us on the organizing committee, or the main organizing committee here for this event, so there's myself. Uh, Linda, Dave, and Chris, who I can't see anything because there are bright lights in my face, but are in the room somewhere. Um, we're also helped out by our colleagues from uh, VMUG HQ, so uh, you know, they've been very helpful here in uh, making us look half professional while we make a hash of trying to arrange the agenda, etc., in the background. So you'll see them throughout the day. Um, they've got VMUG branded shirts, like many of us. Um, so if you've got any questions or queries, uh, you know, feel free to ask one of us, and you know, we'll point out the toilets or the Wi-Fi code, because that generally is the most popular question. Um, I think it goes without saying, we can't really put on this event without sponsors. Obviously, there's a great amount of organizing and cost involved in putting on the food, the venue, et cetera. So I'd very much like to thank our uh, platinum, gold, and silver sponsors. I think without those, uh, obviously, this really wouldn't be possible. Um, and on the topic of sponsors, so we do have um, a number of prize giveaways today, as you'd expect. Um, so, you know, I've We'll talk through these a bit later, but let's suffice to say um, they're really good prizes. So as part of the paperwork you were given when you came in, there's passport to prizes. Um, what you'll do there is you get stamps for going around the various um, vendors in the Solutions Expo. Uh, you return those at the end of the day, you get entered into a prize draw, uh, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, so is there anybody who hasn't been to a VMUG before that's here? Cool, well done. So, sorry, do that again. How many? <laughs> So, okay, so if you come and grab me towards the end, I've got a free, uh, courtesy of uh, Duncan, a free Fusion and VMware Workstation license. So if you're interested in one of those, and this is your first time here, uh, please come and grab me, and I'll uh, arrange that for you. Um, luckily, you're in um, reasonably good hands. Um, so this is, our, say, our ninth event here. So you know, we're fairly used to putting these on um, and making sure we get good content and throughout the agenda, even though... Um, we're not always great at geography. For anybody who was here, our first one, um, you know, you'll obviously notice that the Houses of Parliament are not in Solihull, uh, where our first event was. We're also not the only group nationwide, right? So the way VMUG works is there are several local chapters around the UK and Ireland. Um, their dates and the dates that we currently have that have been shared with us are on the um, slide right now. If you keep looking at the vmug.com website, uh, you can certainly sign up there and uh, map yourself to your local group. Um, in London, particularly, we hold three um, meetings a year, and then we do this as our kind of main annual event. And most of the groups through, uh, also put on a kind of three or four uh, events a year. So some of the groups haven't yet published all of their 2020 dates, uh, but they're up here. So uh, London dates are definitely on the beer mats that we've got so far. Uh, these dates are also on some of the signage that we'll see around the venue. Um, so you know, I can highly recommend you come along to one of those events. I mean, I've been coming to VMUGS for, I don't know, 15 years. Um, it's been very helpful. I, I think when I first, um, first entertained going to a VMUG event, I kind of expected to go along and see a bunch of people shuffling around and staring at their shoes, because uh, given, you know, we all work in IT, we're not necessarily the best extroverts in the world. Um, you know, I was pleasantly surprised, and I continue to be today, um, with uh, the, uh, just the availability of people and people's interest and common passion in sharing some of their experiences around technology. That really sounds a bit woolly, but it's, um, you know, it's, it is one of those things. I've got a lot out of it over the last 15 years, and you know, um, if you haven't been to one before, I'd encourage you to look up one of your local groups uh, and uh, get along. Just by way of some demographics, okay, so who is from the north of here? Okay, and who's, so who's from the south of here? Who doesn't know how they got here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris is from Milton Keynes. He doesn't know where anything is. <laughs> so there's a very rough, uh, very quick view, which you obviously won't be able to read here because it's a bit of an eye chart version of the agenda. Uh, I did put a tiny URL shortener together for the PDF version of the agenda. There are a couple of um, differences uh, on the agenda, so I'd encourage you to look at the signage that's out in the, um, in the Solutions Expo. There's a big kind of curved area with a... Uh, with a globe in the middle of it. That's where the current version of the agenda is shown. But just by way of pointing out the most common things that are asked here, so you know, obviously you're hearing uh, my hand wavy bit at the beginning. In the middle of the day is when we have lunch, 
uh, and obviously lunch is provided. Uh, that's generally the other thing people ask for quite often. Uh, we do the prizes towards the end of the day, or at the end of the day in the closing session, so the raffle will be drawn there. Um, but the one thing I did want to call out is we've, um, yeah, I think as an organization, we, we struggle continually to attract new talent and people to come and speak at these events. Okay, So it's not... You, know, you have to come and you, you don't have to be a very seasoned presenter. You don't have to be you know, a Duncan or a Frank or a Joe Bagley uh, to come and talk at these events. You know, it's very much about a mix between sponsors, um, vendors, and community content. So you'll see on the agendas today, a lot of these sessions are tagged as community. Those are sessions that have been proposed by people who, like yourselves, you know, work out in the industry. Um, they put a topic together. It's something they're passionate about, something they're interested in talking about, something maybe they've done at work that they wanted to come and share with the group. So, by way of trying to encourage, bribe, some would say, uh, people to come and, um, uh, new people to come along and present these events. We've been running this event called V Factor, um, which is essentially where we can try and help coach some brand new presenters through the process to get them to the point where they can come and talk at an event like this today. Um, and I would really encourage you, there are four talks on there. Obviously, I've seen them all several times because we've been dry running them with the guys. There is some brilliant content, uh, content there. So I'd really encourage you to go along uh, and join those sessions. We will also be doing some public voting, so if you're, um, if you're feeling malicious, there's a, there's a way of doing that. So um, again, I'd encourage you to get along and look at those. We are also, in addition to the kind of main uh, agenda you know, in here uh, and the breakout rooms, et cetera, we're also running a couple of spin-off sessions to the side. So uh, in the afternoon, we're running roundtable discussion groups. Uh, these have been very successful at previous events. We didn't put them on last year, but uh, when we've done them in the past, you know, the feedback's always been consistently good. These are you know, roundtables of uh, you know, five to 10 people. We have a, um, a person leading those topics. So you know, there's a set of topics posted on the agenda. Um, and if you're interested in that topic, I, you know, I highly recommend you get down there and um, have those conversations. It's, it's a lot of really good kind of peer-to-peer -peer discussion, uh, you know, experiences and war stories. And those are going on in boosters. So if you remember where, if you came for the curry last night, that's, um, you follow the signs for boosters, that's where those are being held. Uh, you know, we also have some lightning talks from speakers at VMware, which I'd uh, encourage you to go along and attend. Now, just... Um, just as a bit of background, right? So we, we've never really had any events of this problem. We've always had very, very positive feedback. But I think it's, I think it's only really fair for us to say, you know, this is, um, we do treat this quite seriously. This is a very inclusive event. Um, if anybody witnesses any kind of behavior that, you know, either offends them or you think would uh, other people take offense by, please do let us know because it's something we can fix during the day uh, as opposed to being let know after the event when someone's already had a bad experience. We want to make sure everybody gets something out of this. Uh, so I'd really hate for people to go home at the end of the day uh, with a negative uh, experience. Um, one of the things, you know, we've, a lot of the rooms here are quite large. Um, if, um, if you need to have a conversation with someone, you know, can I suggest you to take it out to the halls? There's plenty of space outside. There's plenty of common space to go and have those conversations. It is quite difficult, you know, I speak from personal experience, when people are presenting. If you're in the audience, it's quite often quite difficult to uh, hear if someone's discussing the football results next to you. So um, please do take those outside. Um, and on that kind of audio topic, you know, if you're having trouble hearing the speaker, uh, and, you know, and again, those, the rooms can be a bit variable. If you, if you can't resolve it yourself by moving a bit closer, please do bring it to their attention because, um, particularly as a speaker, there's nothing worse than getting to the end of the session and people going, I have no idea what you said because I couldn't hear you. Um, you know, and there are things we can do. We can turn the audio up, et cetera, during the day. Um, just by way of general policy, you know, we consider everything that's said here uh, is in the public domain. So you know, this, I guess this applies more to the, the vendor side of the house. But if you do have um, you know, NDA type content that you want to talk about or things that are not necessarily public, I just encourage you to be a little bit cautious before you say that. We do, I know we do have some members of the press here today. Um, so just consider that um, a, uh, it's public information if you're there. Um, and then finally, you know, if you hear the fire alarm, I won't make the crap joke about you'll have to follow me running out the building. I think it's fairly self-explanatory where the fire exits are, um, but they're obviously where you came in, and they are well signposted. So we do like to try and make this as interactive as possible, and I do this poll every year, and I have to say the numbers dwindle. But I mean, who in here uses Twitter? Well, we know you do. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, those, those, that's the hashtag and the, um, the address that we're using. So, you know, feel free to give us some feedback via Twitter during the day if you can't come and grab us. Um, you know, if you want to post photos and things like that, it's great. You know, we've got lots of people who are regular attendees who uh, maybe can't make it today, quite often look at that feed to see what's going on. Um, and, you, and they're very interested in, um, in seeing what's happening. So 
one other point. All of the, the sessions that are going to be in this room today are going to be video recorded. Uh, so we do have a YouTube channel, um, which I should have put the link to in the deck, and I will do in the closing deck. Um, so what we've got there is content from probably the last four or five years where we've recorded um, sessions. Um, those will get uploaded to the YouTube channel uh, within a couple of weeks. So you know, if you want to check back on something that maybe you missed, or if, you, if you're a little bit conflicted because there are five different sessions at the same time, you know, I get it, you might want to um, visit one of the other sessions, and then you can come and check back in on the sessions that were in here as they'll be on the video. Um, has anybody got any questions before we kick off? No? Okay, so if not, I'll, um, I'll turn it over to Mr. Backley.